Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio with a 18 by 24 inch canvas. This is the funnel pour I used the last time I did a funnel pour. This canvas has been pre-primed, but I noticed it's not very good. So I'm going to do it again. And I don't need to worry about anything but the outside edges, I don't think. But if I have a layer of paint that's somewhat, that's a little bit runny, it's okay because we're going to be using paint to flow to paint. And I can't swivel around my turntable because I've contained my artwork in a box, but I've taken one side of my box out so I have a little more room than usual. Which I'm very happy about at the moment, actually. Now I'm really tempted to do something that I did when I utilized my spatula and some white paint and swiped through and created some cells. That's very tempting right now. But this is supposed to be a funnel pour. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same exact thing as an open cup pour, which is just taking a cup and getting rid of the bottom and then floating it on. Okay, I don't have my fan going today, so the paint shouldn't dry out too fast. I'm going to move that black out of the way. I do have an edge catcher handy, which is going to be kind of a challenge because it's a rather large canvas. So I have white. I have Artist Loft White with Australian Floatrol. Excuse me. I have Artist Loft White with regular Floatrol and GAC 800 by Golden. And so long as I have some paint around my edges, I don't think it's going to make any difference. Because usually I add paint around the funnel after I place it. And I think the last time I did this, I did a little tipping. So let's do that. can always add some more paint. And I'm just going to add some more paint. I do have cheesecloth. There was there were filaments in this paint the last time I had this bottle full and when I found the jug of paint that uh, said it was mixed on it and I'm assuming that it's Artist Loft that is probably a safe assumption. Also another safe assumption would be that it's probably got the same stuff and that's why I'm using cheesecloth. I would like to have enough paint and I can't take the top off to get it out because I'm actually sieving it as we go. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that again in a moment. Okay that looks perfect. I'm just going to give it a little bit more right around and wish it was easier to come out. Now what I was talking about was this. Just adding something a little different. Which may not, may or may not, it may not remain anyway. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. And I've got a list, as long as I didn't hide it on myself, of the order of things. First I've got Jasmine or Hot Orchid, in which, in this case, was joined by something accidentally, which I think was some pink diamond. I actually have a little bit... Where'd my spatula go? There we go. So 
So I found the, uh, the hot orchid is now called jasmine, it's primary element. And it was a bit thick, so I added some just Sonia varnish. <laughs> okay, so it's not a perfect process. Next, I went to Tuscan Sun. Do I want a little bit more of that? Maybe. It's a big canvas, so I might as well have as much paint as I can to float on. I'm just going to take the top right out of this. Looking to retire some of my old bottles or recycle them is probably closer to the truth. And I didn't put any gold in last time, but I'm going to put some. Uh, oh, that was a prison pour. This is Indian spice. This is both a prison pour and a primary element. This is Orange Crush. This is a prison pour. passion in there. Wait, wait. Orange Crush Passion Chantilly Lace. Yes, okay. I mapped this from the other day. It's bound to be different because it's bigger. Chantilly Lace, which may come back again. And I've got mermaid scales, which is a prism, excuse me, a primary elements. It's different doing the larger piece because I'm not sure how much paint I, I made uh, a crib sheet where I put little circles to indicate the size of the amount of paint I put in. And then I promptly lost it. This is Snapdragon. This is an, this is another prism pour. Excuse me, I keep doing that. It's another primary element. Primary Element Interference Blue. If I can't deal with the top being slow, I'm just going to take it right off. I have Midnight Shadow. I have Royal Galaxy. Is that next? Yes, it is. It looks like it's going to be enough paint to me. I hope I'm right. I might want to take a few of these out of the way. I'd be really surprised if I need them again. Then last but not least, no, second to last but not least is the Fandango. I want to add some cerulean blue. I guess I'm going to go outside my my usual. And Pebio iridescent blue green is my last but not least. And I'm really hoping that I can get a little more paint out of my bottle. Makes me want to use the black, which I actually could, and I think I will. Because I know it will come out easily, and it's a good experiment. Just need something to float everything in. I'll take my other tools and get them out of here. This is going to be interesting. I do have, like I said, an egg catcher standing by. Well, if I can't go around in a circle, at least I can go back and forth a few times. I 
think I'll just rest that down. Nope. Put that on my Lola Fee silicone mat. Maybe, if I recall, I used to, when I did Funnel Force before, I used to hit it kind of quick. For the torch. I think there's a stretcher bar in the back of this. I think the black is going to work just fine. I want to hit it again with a torch. I see some more bubbles. Every time I see that luscious pale pink color, I think I put frosted berry in there, but it's just the white mixing. question is, is there enough paint to cover the whole canvas? And how far will I be able to stretch it before I start running out? I wonder if I have a small edge catcher I could use for that. I bet I do. It's even kind of fresh. That one's too big. Next. I love seeing those cells come up. It's better if you can have it flat against the side with no kink in it. This would be a good time for a corner catcher probably too. I like those little tiny, that little tiny patch of beautiful colored cells in the black. I can take paint off of my edge catcher. Let's turn this around so I have the opportunity. You know what? I want that to go down there. Sorry. It's headed toward the edge catcher, where if I'm lucky we'll be able to save the paint, or at least reuse it. There, I think that worked. I'd like to take off the paint <laughs> with a card or something, so it doesn't get wasted. Put it right back up there again. It's not fast process this, but it does seem to be worthwhile. And if I want to add some more paint to make paint float more easily, I can do that. strategically locate my edge catcher to help me catch paint. Chances are good I will be attempting to reutilize the paint that's going off. Sorry, I'm out of view. So sorry. See, I don't think what I what I did to start with with the spatula made any difference at all. But I would like to bring this back again 
And there, I just found my crib sheet. Wow, what's it doing over there? <laughs> Now, I have gorgeous colors on my edge catcher and plenty of paint on my arm too. So I think I'm going to fully utilize all that, although I do see a hair in there gotta go. And then I'll take the rest if I can. I got two minutes left, probably out of three, to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If I wanted any black on this, I have some on my... I don't think I need the black as... I mean the white there as much as I like the black. I do wish my turntable was fully functional. It is a rather larger canvas than I'm used to. And I may run out of time. That looks like a rather large lump of something. But it's probably just an illusion. It looks a little different and I, and I don't get to finish now, I'll try and do an addendum, a part two, where I put some more color on, but I'd really like to do that right now. And I'm painty as heck. This is the Jasmine Primary Elements Hot Orchid again. Yeah, I am sticking my finger in there because I don't. Striations aren't doing it for me. I think I will like it eventually. So what should I tell you guys? Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. I do a lot of experiments. I kind of like that orange in there, over here. I kind of like a little bit more over here. I got one minute left to say thank you guys who have joined. I hope you're enjoying the members library. I thought for a minute I could also, you know, go in with Australian flow trail. I forgot my plum blossom, darn. Well, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I'm just gonna grab a straw, hopefully. If I'm lucky. I'd really like to be able to uh, give you guys a shimmering view, but I've got a lot of lights on that I don't think I can get off in time. So I will try and shimmered at you just the way it is. I'm not sure that anything's going to shimmer. Oh yeah, look at that. So that worked out pretty well. In spite of me running out of time. I seem to run out of time a lot lately. Probably going to put some more pink down here. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. No, I love you guys. I post at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time. 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most days.